Alrighty. I think it's cooled down enough. So I'm gonna just, oh God, what am I doing? Lindsay Heather, okay. Eureka, this has got to be what it feels like to get slimed. Did, you, did I remember that from Nickelodeon? Oh, okay, yeah, that's still a bit, still a bit hot. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and, well, now I just look like I've had a bird shit on me. <laughs> God, you proud of me yet, Mom? <laughs> Never actually had a bird shit on me, but I can imagine that this is kind of what it feels like. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Know that this is vaguely the way that you tie a head wrap. No clue, but this is how I used to tie it around pin curls forever ago. So that's that's what I will <laughs> stick to. on the phone with my therapist in the kitchen. <laughs> he, goes, he goes, where are you? I was like, I'm in Jersey. My friends are, ta are taking me to Terrytown. And he goes, he goes, <laughs> he goes, ooh, Sleepy Hollow. Ooh. Oh, I've been there. And then at one point during the session, he goes, he was like, are you afraid that everyone's gonna leave you? That, that, <laughs> that you're gonna follow, <laughs> like all this we're talking about, you know, we're talking about shit. Oh. And he goes, and he goes, and I was like, yeah, like Rip Van Winkle. And he goes, same author as Sleepy Hollow. And I was like, Stop, Stop it. it. <laughs> Stop. Oh my God, do you think that Daisy, when she comes back, she's gonna be like, is that Lindsay's butt? She's gonna sit One sitting on the couch. Camera, but, but you look very pretty. I do look cute. I you do look very, you look very cute. I love the color of the sweater. Gabriel, let's see this look. Come here, toots. I mean, he looks great. Oh, honey, baby boy. Hi. Oh my God, you look so good. <laughs> I don't want. I don't like. I don't need to be in any vlogs or nothing. I just wanted to like. You are. You're here. You're in it. Look at you. Look at that. Hi, cutie. Hi, cutie. Hi. And I, I like walked into the sun and went, because I, I take just a cry during therapy in your kitchen.
coffee in quite a bit because he had a uh, very intense moment. Weak stomach in <laughs> It yeah. was not fun. Nope. <laughs> and now he's gonna get some coffee. She is figuring it out. Yes, turn, turn, yes, gorgeous, yes. Honestly, this tree, but you, this tree, you, this tree, do not fall, thank you so much. <laughs> We are at a train station. We were gonna go look at the river, but it's too far. Emily's knee is hurt, and I am also hurting. And this honestly, is Gabe is probably also <laughs> yeah. hurting. Yeah, this is injury, this is 30. Gabe has had a recent surgery, so. Bless him, he's gone back to get the car, which is, you know. Usually, I, usually lately, I'm like, oh no, I'll go. He's like, I'll go get the car, and I went, I will sit, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Honestly, I'm great because I took the belt off. <laughs> yeah, it was like digging into me in the car. Oh, yeah. So I took the belt off and accidentally hit Emily in the face, trying to <laughs> trying to whip my my sacrum belt off. And I I took it off because it was I like got whipped by a sacrum belt. Who can say that? By Lindsay's sacrum belt. Thank you very much. Oh my, oh god. my god. An elf of us. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I got greened. Um, but I am regretting taking it off. I can feel it. I can feel my floating rib getting achy. I was like, just oh. call me Eve. <laughs> it, that's what makes my diaphragm collapse. Oh, jeez. Which is like attached to all of the injury stuff. It's great. Being injured is fantastic. That makes me so I didn't even know about that until about three weeks into oh, PT, where I was like, I'm getting all this, like, I, I felt like I had a stitch in my side. Oh, yeah. And yeah, I yeah. couldn't get full breath. And then I went to my chiropractor, and my chiropractor <laughs> literally put his fingers under my rib and like pulled my diaphragm back out and I was like <gasps> and I started crying because yeah, I didn't yeah. realize that I had been so shut off and it like released a lot of emotions then yeah. I went to my vocal coach and he released more of my diaphragm but more around like my epigastrium then I went to my PT and he released my floating rib and I was like <laughs> Everybody's just pulling out Lindsay's side. My body. <laughs> I mean I won't lie there's there's been moments where like I've cried at home because I'm like every everybody's just like touching me all the time. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot, and and while I know that it's for a good reason, after a while, like it's a very getting vulnerable thing. Well, and also getting touched by by people that are trying to help you, and they murmur to themselves, and it's, it's no one's fault. It's literally how people work. They go, mm, "That's no good today," or mm, "That's that's you're not that's not great today." Being constantly told that you're broken is really really frustrating. Oh. Even though that's their job, it's like really painful. Yeah, especially when you're already in such a vulnerable place where mm -hmm. you're like, I don't. Our, our whole mentality when we're taught is to be perfectionist. And then on oh. top of it, I, I have come to terms with how much weight and worth I have put into performing to make me feel good. Oh, yeah. Because I don't even have like catharsis through what I love to do. Yeah. So I have to like find other things and it can't just all be watching Netflix, you know, books, like you're finding through books though probably. Yeah, I'm finding, well, yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I've found my way back to the reading that I used to do, but at the yeah. same time, that's, that stuff for me, but that's not anything that I'm making, Yeah. which is for me and me only, like yeah. time spent with myself, of course, but like things that I, I don't need like a product to sell or mm -hmm. things to give to other people, but I don't have a means of catharsis that is from my own making. That's how, yeah, I guess so. It's that's like, how I, I like, would, I like don't decorating sculpt, my I don't, house yeah, or like, like making crafts or something like that. Yeah, and I don't have anything other than like cooking to work with my hands. And there's only so much that I can cook for one person. <laughs> just, <laughs> Seven just minutes of that. Just creatives being creatives. Just creatives being sad and true. <laughs> sad but true. It's great. <laughs> 
tree, these birch trees, you and me, me and you, both of us together. I know. I love the jellyfish. And there's little shrimpies. Look at the heels. <gasps> Flotsam and jetsam. Here Plotsam we go. And, <laughs> and Ursula. Yeah, I'll take it. I think, Lindsay, I think you'd be Ursula, and Emily and I would be Flotsam. Oh my god, thank you so much.